Sounds like someone accepted. Okay, Furo. Furo is here. Okay, let's play against Furo. Furo is more challenging than Hans. And that's for sure. Yeah, let's try a four move. I used to play this. So, yeah, okay, Bishop B6 and White's before a five. Actually, why not? I think a five is uh, supposed to be clever here in, in this in this particular line. So what do we do right now? Maybe Queen F3. Yeah, the, the situation with high I mean, is not funny anymore because uh, I'm not sure what's uh, what's the actual situation, but I'm pretty sure that literally everybody is suspecting him. Uh, literally everyone, and I think me, me either. And yet he is not. <laughs> uh, looks like he's not going to get sanctioned by Child.com. This is a little bit of a crazy situation to me. So if Bishop before he takes here, I think we should just... I don't know, just play maybe Bishop D2 and Castle. If he wants Knight H6, Knight F7. Maybe I play E5, actually. Queen E5 and Rook E1. Uh, or just a funny move. Might, might be that it works. Uh, because uh, I would say overall his setup is uh, a little bit passive at the moment. I think he still needs to take the other queen, which looks very dangerous, but maybe it's the best way to, to fight. No, he got bluffed. Also, f6 was the move. But I think this is enough. I, I like the blockading knight, I like the pawn, which rolls toward f6. Right now. Or maybe not right now. Not right now. What if we should see 4 though? Uh, not so sorry, but I like this move since I go f6 on the next one. Yeah, his uh, chess become account is Mikitarian. Okay, now e3, so after f6, he doesn't have queen b4 move. This is important, he's not going to get active. Okay, f6. Where is he going right now? Queen e8? Oh my god. Queen e8 looks ugly. I can even try f7 here. Okay, why not? And I like f7 actually. So there is no queen g6. So just rook f1. This pawn would be a big pain for him. Also, I'm going to queen f6, trading the queens. Maybe king b1 at first. So let's trade this first. There's queen d4 idea. Like the only way uh, to activate his pieces. So this is like two ways. I can allow this or I can just play c3. I like c3 even more. So after queen f6, he doesn't have, technically, he doesn't have the square to... Yeah, but now I think h3. Hopefully I'm not going to blunder something in one move here. Because if, if I do, I'll, I'll be very mad on myself. Because the position should be easily winning, of course. Bishop c5, nice little touch. But if g3, he loses a bishop, yeah, likely, or not. Okay, but queen e7 fails to queen f6, I think. So now I'm going to I'm going to force him uh, if I take the knight. Okay, he can take that, that pawn, but this is not important. Okay, I'm coming for h7 soon enough. Yeah, so what now? There is bishop f5, but then okay, I, I can just play g4. g4, okay, I think h1 is the move. Yeah, she seems pretty much losing for him. Taking d1. Yeah, okay, with such a pawn, I don't think he can uh, fight for the draw. I can also play, actually, I can also play rookie 6, rookie 7, and then f6. 
This is, uh, I think, a suboptimal way to convert, so I just cut, cut down his king, so it never helps him. Okay, c4, let's close uh, the queen side. Now we just come here, here, and so on, okay. Uh, with, with the check, very strong move, with the check. Very strong move. Uh, okay, let's go for Dutch. I wonder what if ninety four here. Knight c three. So they play this line with rook on b one, but here I think I can go e five. Uh, this line is sort of improved ver theoretical version. Uh, so I don't think this is correct way to play with white. Uh, Tariq UDC, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. So rook f seven fails to knight g five, but rook f seven also very, very, very. Solid or e eight. It's hard to choose. I can start with e eight. I'm not sure though what's better, what's what's worse. So what now? Ninety seven e e four then f four. Okay, ninety seven shouldn't be wrong. If a four, he can take there. Yeah. What, what is then? Queen e five or queen f six. Okay, f4 I think is a very normal way to play this. If he takes, I play queen f6. I don't let him go for this e5, of course. He also has this bishop h3. Bishop h3 is very tricky, I would say. No, okay, now I think I should be roughly alright. Maybe less, maybe more, but this is a very sensible position. He can try taking on d7, but okay, then I take back, and maybe I can sacrifice and exchange back on e5. So he has these, uh, those weaknesses and... Uh, what with 5 and that's a bold one. And what do I take? He takes back or rook d6? What's the plan? Rook d6. I think even with this move it deserves some attention. Maybe not so much. But also there is nothing wrong with queen f7. If knight g5, queen h5. And if he takes, I play knight b6 and then knight c4. Uh, also potentially a fork. And also now I'm ready to take this back. To win back the pole. So if knight g5 I just take here, should be alright. If he does nothing I then I take here. And also bishop f5 is coming. So this bishop on e3 was very active, but now it's a little bit misplaced. Uh, it could do a better job. For sure. Maybe not ID2, but then okay, then I'll just bishop f5 and black should be better. Also, maybe bishop f okay, bishop f8 is. No, no, doesn't seem too good. Well, so we won back a pawn. Hopefully, I'm not going to lose this in some ta tactical, in some fierce tactical battle. Now, what if knight c4? Bishop e4, I go here. We should, we should try this at least. Looks fine. Take the rook, take the bishop. I'm giving this check. Uh, he wants to give me this check, but I can start with bishop f5 actually. So I think I have an extra check here. Bishop f5 is very nice because this piece is like is very annoying. If he goes further, it just kills my. Ah, oh, hang on. So should I play queen e4 right now? Because bishop e4 surprisingly rook e4 and there is a fork. Oh. Yeah, fortunately I have this move. Some nice little trick. If not queen e4, I would be I would be lost, I think. But queen e4, and uh, uh, seems like I'm still winning. Very very tricky position, as, as you can see. Because when, when he trades, uh, the rook is hanging here, and I, I don't think anything is going to work anymore for white here. Hang on, what if I take this? If he takes, I take on g5. It looks like just winning. 
winning a piece, I would say. Yeah, so he's tricky, but uh, I'm also tricky sometimes. All right. What did I do before? K45. Okay, ah, it was a scourge game. Look, look, a clever, a clever guy. He doesn't want to play uh, scotch. He wants to play this instead. What, uh, what is he going to take with? Pawn or knight? Giri took the pawn. Yeah, that's that's a correct play, I think. Queen d4. I'm just repeating my game against Giri. He played rook eight here, I think. Yeah, queen g5 is also the move. So now the plan is to go rook e3 and rook, uh, rook g3. Well, he just ignores us. That's so rude of him. Okay, let's play rook g3. Queen h6 probably is the move. Queen e5 attacking here and here. It's a very, very tricky position. So obviously it's not bad for black, uh, but you should keep in mind that you should be precise with black here as well. Can I take the pawn? I think I, think I can take the pawn. If rook c8 and queen a4, sorry. Queen a4, an extra pawn for me right now. Seems 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 like all right. Also taking on a7, by the way. So he's going very, very active. Okay, so let's remove the bishop. Now if I take on g6, there is some mating idea from that side. I can take here, actually. What else can I do? Probably I'd like to trade queens. can take here and take here and play queen e7 and taking here this is mating one and I'm taking here so he he has to play f3 and then i take on e4 and then looks like i just force him trading queens and then i have like three pawns for an exchange which should be obviously enough to win at least that's my poor calculation I think a free is roughly the only move, but then I collect that pawn, f fg2, I give a check, then I trade, and then I take here. I mean, three pawns should be enough. Yeah, takes, takes. So he goes with his rook to d2. Ah, he's not going there. Weird one. Okay, let's go a4. So he wants to give me that check. Probably rook d1, regroup some forces. Five is a weird one. I can even try rook d5 actually right now. Yeah, rook d5. Uh, if I trade uh, a pair of rooks, this is already lost for him. Okay, so probably a5. Maybe I was wrong to allow this move. So now it goes, let's say, in a less, in a less clear way. So if rook d2, what he does now, rook a8, yeah. Oh, this sucks. He may even try rookie six. Okay, this is this is a very bad move. Oh, very bad move, actually. Should I play on here as well? Anyway, yeah, I think I think I should play this on, but I, I don't I don't I don't see a proper way. Yeah, shame on me. Shame on me. I don't think I'm really better uh, without those pawns. Okay, let, let's uh, insist on Dutch. Oh, this is a very clever way to play. Yeah, d6, so you never take that pawn. So you take this, I think e5 is the move here. This d3, d4 is considered to be the best way to play after knight f3, f5. One of the most well, is it still some theory or not? I can also try a6 right now, I think. Let's try a6, I like this move. Maybe I shouldn't like this move, maybe this move is just bad. Uh, but still, I, I don't know why, but I think it's it might work. 
No, it no, it doesn't work. Knight e4. Knight e4 with bishop g4 and just knight takes c6 at least. Bishop d1, knight d8, a b. Okay, losing a pawn. And after knight d4, I should take on b5, but then knight f5, and black is just much worse. I was wondering what do you do in the chair so often than playing Magnus. Uh, I mean, you guys. Uh, okay, this is a funny. This is this is really funny stuff. But you know, in general, I would say, I would ask you guys if uh, if many of you were trying to drink, I would say roughly two liters of water in half an hour. So how do you think what happens next? Or just, I mean, I want your ideas. What happens next after you drink so much water in half an hour? Because I think, yeah, I just at some point I just calculated uh, how many water bottles do I have, and it was hell, hell as much. And it, it doesn't really matter which move is it's your turn or it's his turn. I mean, it doesn't really matter to you. Uh, <laughs> you you only care about other things from there on. Okay, we should trade queens. Maybe now we trade here and play king d7. So we still have two bishops, so this is not completely lost. It's just worse, but nothing critical for so far, I think. So you know, guys, uh, the uh, overall, uh, overall explanation would be, I see, the nature calls. <laughs> this is actually one of the drawbacks, the drawback of uh, those online stuff. I, I know I know how it looks. I know it looks sort of suspicious. Uh, but I mean, uh, you know. What other odds? Uh, what, what's you know? What's better to do? Yeah, like let's say follow all the rules or maybe uh, keep your pants. <laughs> uh, let's say not wet. So which rook would we check? I think this rook. If something we have this a two idea. Rook a two idea. Sorry. If king d two, then bishop h six. Hang on. What bishop h six? I have a 96, I have a 98. Okay, I don't know, let's give this check. Let's see what happens. So if I take here, ah, then he plays 93, hang on. Maybe I'm very wrong about this, about the whole thing. I could play c5 instead. No, okay, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to buy it. So if 93, then it's at least bishop g7, using the pin. So now we retreat, if 96, 98. I think we could. Okay, 35 probably equalizes the game. What? Ah, okay, this is this is good for him. This is just very good for him. Okay, not very good, but just good. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Not, 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 not really a big choice for me, unfortunately. Yeah. So now it's not okay. It's never much worse, but it's never better from here for, from now on. Provoking for knight e3, and then I probably play d5, activating all my stuff. If rook d, okay, rook d1, but then it's king d6. So okay, now rook. What should I do? Should I just play rook b4 or not? Okay, let's play rook b4. At least we provoke him for some. Bishop b5 move. Alright, then bishop b7 perhaps. So he now goes rook d1, and then I play rook e4. Now knight c2. Knight c2 is a better one. Okay, probably rook b6. Maybe rook b5 was stronger, I'm not sure. Should fight for a draw, somehow. Okay, at least rook b5. At least now I do this. Thank you for subscribing. going on something is going on that I'm uh, playing badly in, in this particular game I'm just playing badly that that's what's going on give d6 and bishop d5 at least uh, okay maybe g5 I don't know let's come let's make the things more complex for him
Yeah, anything is winning for him right now. He actually catches my bishop. Yep, very strong. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Was uh, a little bit careless for me. Well, at some point, okay, this uh, wasting like 100 of tempi winning this uh, uh, very weird A2 pawn. This is probably the wrong, completely wrong call for me and was uh, rightfully, rightfully punished for that idea. If d5, I think now e5. Should make some sense. Knight g4 though. No, d5 maybe I just take. Yeah, and e7 is hanging. Hanging on. What if I, I can take both the bishop or with the knight? I think taking a... What do I take with? Okay, let's take with the knight. In both cases he has this weak knight on a5. I was curious. What is the best way to take wheat? But hang on, if I play queen e4 right now, there is bishop b4. No more bishop b4, and then I play queen e4. So, should I start with queen e4 or not? I think I should. If b6, then is bishop b5. I provoke him for c6, I think, right now. Which is alright for me. If I if I manage to do this. If rook is rook of eight, then I can take here. If c6, okay, this is an extra pawn for me, another extra pawn. And since this bishop is covering e2, I don't really feel like my king is in danger. Yeah, this should be better for white. Looks like. Looks like. If we 6 then c7 is winning. So he needs some another tempi for queen c7. Yeah, okay, with such a knight, he's not going to get some huge counterplay, just just a small one. With such a knight, I mean, it spoils uh, all the things for him. Yeah, but now bishop f4, I think, is a good one to provoke bishop d6. So what do we do? I think we trade. Play rook d1 first. He allows me b4. Hang on, what? Oh, before queen c3, check. But I can start with c7. And rook e7. But before queen c3, I have to just play king f1. Okay, so let's play b4. Play queen g5. Queen g5 doesn't look good. Uh, what do I do now? I can simply cancel and uh, I think nothing happens. If I see, then if I see some bishop d3, and his knight is still uh, trapped. No matter what ha what happens. Okay, what's this rubbish? I think I can even take here. If he takes twice, I can just take a b. Yeah, and then okay, promote. Uh, loads of pawns. C3, very nice opening. Very nice opening, my friend. Looks like you're really up to date with the modern theory. If he takes, I think I activate my rook, I'm fine. So what now? I think the same story, I just develop my pieces. Bishop d6 is alright. Make a castle. So I feel like I'm playing with white right now. Anything wrong with c4? I don't. I don't. I don't, think, I don't. I don't think he really wants to take this. Maybe he won't. Maybe he does. No, he doesn't. Uh, he wants knight h4, so let's try h6 first. So we save the place for the bishop. Knight e5 instead. We can just take with the knight. I think here. Ah, oh, sorry, with the bishop. Now knight e4. So this bishop is badly misplaced indeed. So what do what if you just need b5 right now? 
I think I, I would be back here also this night. This is night B8, night C6 idea, very sound. I should have done it the instead of instead of what I did. Okay, knight C5, knight D3 is also fine. If bishop H4, just queen C7. Uh, so makes um, <laughs> roughly zero sense for him. Also, I think bishop D3 is the move. Yes, if queen G4. Also, I take that pawn. So I want to play now bishop D3 and three that square for the knight. That's a clever one. He prepares bishop d1. But uh, my another plan is just bring all my pawns forward here. Mm -hmm. So let's try bishop d3 anyway. I think he goes bishop d1. But maybe not. Maybe he goes g5. But if g5, then h5, and then g6. And uh, if, if I close the, the king side like this, uh, I will never care about any sort of attacks. Yeah, bishop d1 was, uh, I would say, expected. I wanted to play knight d7 here. Yeah, I would better do this in, in another in another order, not to allow him some extra things. Yeah, let's try knight b8, knight c6. Uh, maybe even queen e7 first. So maybe in the end of the day I just trap his queen and win. Like this. If g5 now, I protected this one extra time. Queen e4. Uh, he wants g5 anyway, but I don't think this g5 makes any sense right now, because if h5 and my bishop now goes to g6, like that super ultimate, brilliant, best square ever for the bishop in the this universe. e4. Whoa. This guy is such an optimistic person. I think now I just use the d4 and uh, goes to d8 and so on and so on. d4 was also very, very, very fine, I would say. Okay, this rook here, this rook here. f4 clearly g6. Now e4 is also weak. Okay, this is so much lost for it. And queen b7 and taking e4 one extra time, provoking king for rook d3. Uh, which is maybe the only way for him. No, wait, wait. Ah, there, it's just hanging right now, yeah, so. It's actually not a not a not a threat, not yet. Or no, it's it's not one. So let's double our rooks here on defile. No, we, we cannot we cannot have troubles uh, while we have such a brilliant piece set up. Uh, this is uh, just I would call this impossible. Anyway, here. Ah, oh, this was the idea. Okay, this is interesting. Can I take this? If it takes a plane, I do free check. I think I can try. I can, I can give it a shot. If bishop d7, I'm a knight of free check. Uh, I think the resignation was premature because bishop d7, knight. You know, guys, I'll just show you the line. Uh, Bishop d7, knight f3. I think he had queen a3 here, bishop a3, and bishop c6. And this only leads us. I don't, I don't, I don't think I can do anything else. Well, ah, I can also, I can actually just take here, yeah. If he takes a king g7, and I think I'm the first one to deliver a mate. Yeah, then okay, then the resignation was was all right. It wasn't premature. Hang on. Ah, it's said he has disconnected. Yeah, I think he's not online anymore. Ah, that's a pity. That's a pity. I didn't think he would go away if I don't accept um, this immediately. Yeah. That's a little bit sad. I would love to play more. I would love to play more against Fury. 